we want to find the value that completes the square for each trinomial and then write the trinomial as a perfect square. So we learned in our lesson that in order to form a perfect square trinomial where the leading coefficient is 1, then the constant term, which we'll call c, must be equal to half of the coefficient of the degree 1 term squared, meaning the trinomial must fit the form shown here in order for it to be a perfect square trinomial with a leading coefficient of 1. And therefore, the constant term c, again, must be equal to b divided by 2 squared, where b is equal to the coefficient of the degree 1 term. So for our first example, x squared minus 20x, notice how b would be equal to negative 20, because we have minus 20x. And therefore, the constant term c must be equal to negative 20 divided by 2 squared if we want this to be a perfect square trinomial. Notice how this would be negative 10 squared, which equals 100. So if we add 100 here, we now have a perfect square trinomial, which we'll now factor. So we'll have two binomial factors. The factors of x squared are x and x. And now for the constant terms, we want the factors of 100 that add to negative 20, which would be negative 10 and negative 10. And therefore, the two binomial factors are x minus 10 and x minus 10, which of course is equal to the quantity x minus 10 squared. Now, if we take a look at our work below here just for a moment, notice how we squared negative 10 to get 100, and also negative 10 is also the constant term in both binomial factors. So by showing this work, we can also double check our factoring. In our second example, notice how we have plus 16x, and therefore b equals positive 16, and therefore to form a perfect square trinomial, c, the constant term, must be 16 divided by 2 squared, which should be 8 squared, which equals positive 64. So by adding 64 here, we now have a perfect square trinomial, which we'll now factor. So we have x and x. The factors of 64 that add to 16 are 8 and 8. So we have x plus 8 times x plus 8, which equals the quantity x plus 8 squared. And again, notice how, if we look at our work below, we squared positive 8 to obtain 64, and positive 8 was the constant term in each binomial factors. This becomes helpful when b is odd and when b is a fraction, which we'll see in our next several examples. I hope you found this helpful.